The Celtics are in serious discussions with the Sixers to trade out of the overall number one spot. It looks like Markel Fultz is going to be the guy because there are reports out there that he's going to fly to Philadelphia tomorrow to meet with the Sixers. Brown shit check, foreign shit check, fashion shit check, cash and shit check. I ain't talking Nike when I'm talking about a check. Foreign shit check, fashion shit check, cash and shit check. I ain't talking Nike when I'm talking about a check. Bought your girl some Nike when she had me bought a check. So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA back here for another video and I'm back here with the what ifs you guys. Leave me some suggestions on who we should do next. The NBA draft is next week and you guys already know if you guys have been on Twitter or if you guys have been following the NBA draft at all. The Philadelphia 76ers have expressed interest in trading up from pick number three to pick number one. And for right now, Markel Fultz is at the top of everybody's draft board. And the Lakers are also reportedly in love with Markel Fultz. So Lonzo, damn bro, because like really everybody is seeing Fultz as the answer. So you already know the Celtics are going to be looking for a bunch of, of trade assets. And you best believe the Sixers have them. But if you guys want to see more of this series, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Smash. And just continue just to show love. And if you guys are brand new, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at LegendaryEA. Leave me some suggestions in the comment section below. I'm also going to be doing a lot more NBA content, not just 2K, but some real life NBA. I might have a video dropping today or tomorrow. Look out for that. It has something to do with one of the Ball Brothers. But other than that, yo, let's get straight into, into the episode. Is this going to start off with us getting that pick from the Celtics? Now, apparently in real life, uh, the Celtics are obviously looking for the third pick. But they're also looking because the, the Sixers also have the Lakers pick next year in 2018. Well, we should have it. And the Kings pick in 2019. And we're going to send that over to the Celtics. Apparently, they are really interested in Josh Jackson. But we have the number one overall pick now. And we're going to head straight into the NBA draft. You guys already know, this video is what if Markel Fultz is drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers. So let's make it happen. So we actually made sure to get the top five picks right. After that, I really wasn't going to be going back and stuff. But we have the top five picks correct as it is in real life. But yo, number one overall pick, Markel Fultz. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that this kid is, is going to be a superstar or a bust. I think that he's going to be great in the NBA. I made so many videos about him. I think that he's going to be great in the NBA. And I, I honestly can't wait for this NBA season to start. Yo, but I have so much more content planned, you guys. One of them is, oh, one of them is is about Kevin Durant, and like like I said, I do have one about the Ball Brothers dropping soon, uh, but you guys are going to enjoy all of those. Uh, let's sign this guy, Nigel Hayes from Wisconsin. Yeah, from Wisconsin. But let's go ahead and let's sign him. Like I said, I do want to keep this somewhat realistic, and we're going to see how far we can take this thing. We're going to see how far we can take it, but yo, the plan is to keep this thing as, as realistic as possible. So I will be making Ben Simmons a rookie uh, well, this upcoming season. But other than that, let's get straight into the rebuilding process because I, I do feel like the Sixers will be selling. I think that the Sixers need veteran leadership, though. Like, I think that they need a veteran. The Warriors might be willing to actually do this trade because their draft picks really pick up nothing. So I might be down to actually do this trade. Actually, let's go ahead and do it. It's, it's, it's not that far-fetched. It's not really all that far-fetched. I like Jaleel Okafor a lot, but we need to clear up some of these big men. We have a lot of them. We have so many of them. So for right now, uh, dang, we're all so young. I, I kind of want to just let this young team develop and then in this free agency class, sign a couple of veterans. So you know what? Let's see who we can bring in. Vince Carter, I don't mind that at all. Uh, Kyle Korver to add in some more shooters because... We do need shooters, but he's going back to Cleveland, huh? Like, this team is in need of a score, which is why I do like them picking up Markel Fultz. I know some of you guys wanted them to uh, to play Ben Simmons at point guard. I just don't think it's going to really work. But, like, I don't know. I, I just don't really see it working. But we miss out on, on Kyle Lowry, which really, really sucks. 
yeah, we're not going to be getting any of these guys. So we're going to go ahead and, and sim over free agency. And I will catch you guys at the start of season number one. We really made no trades. But I just want to see how this team does on its own. So it's the start of season number one. And this is our lineup. Yeah, it's Fultz, Timothy, Luwawu, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, and Joel Embiid. All right. All right, so first off, like I said, we need to go ahead and make Ben Simmons a rookie because because technically this is his rookie year. So let's go ahead and let's do this, make him a one-year pro. We're not going to change anything else because I think that we're going to be fine. Uh, we're going to explore different options this coming free agency class, but for right now, extremely young team. I don't want to go out there and make a blockbuster trade, especially for no one that we can realistically get. But, yo, let's just try this out. Brett Brown lead us to promise we might actually fire him and at the end of next season But let's see how this team does at the end of season number one with Markel Fultz I think that this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully Joel Embiid does not get injured. That's actually Let's play this as a simulation to where he does not get hurt because it would be Because this would honestly be no fun Seeing him get hurt all the time so let's go ahead and do that and let's see how this team does at the end of season number one. And at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook wins the MVP. Our boy Markel Fultz is rookie of the year, averaging 18 points, five rebounds, and seven and a half assists, one and a half blocks. And yo, that man was pretty much efficient from everywhere on the court. Mason Plumlee, six man of the year, but we really, we really don't care about that. Coach of the year goes to John Smith. All right, do we have anybody making all NBA team like Embiid? Brooke Lopez, all NBA third team? Seriously? But Fultz is all defensive. He's an 81 now. He, he is all defensive first team. Nobody else. He's Him and Ben Simmons are all rookie first team. What, what did Ben Simmons do? About 12 points, a rebounds. All right, he was solid all over except from the three. That man was trash from the three. All right, but that's it. We actually made the playoffs. This is why people say the Eastern Conference is so is so weak. We make it with a 500 record of 41 and 41, and we aren't even the eighth seed. We we are the seventh seed. All right, so we the Celtics are that low. What what happened? They really took Giles. They took Giles with the third. Okay. <laughs> okay, but anyways, as far as our stats go. We were 11 points by Fultz. Our second leading scorer was Joel Embiid with 17 points, 9 rebounds, and 2.5 blocks. Ben Simmons was our third leading scorer. All right, we got to make some changes this coming offseason. But, yo, around one, we're taking on uh, the Washington Wizards. I don't know how I really feel about that, but I guess we're going to find out. Because in round one, what can we do? We blow a 2-0 lead. Sounds about right. So let's go ahead and let's see who wins the NBA championship. Let's see who was going to be. Yeah, okay. John Wall, I guess it was your year. These 2K Sims are so wild. So heading into the draft lottery, we obviously still have draft picks here. Uh, okay, where, where, where are we at? We can get the 10th pick because of Dallas. And we roll away, yeah, with the 10th pick. This is also a pretty solid draft. So, I mean, we, we, we have options. Now, we have head coach options. Yeah, we're not we're not bringing back Brett Brown, but I would be interested in bringing in Brad Stevens. That's that sounds pretty lit to me. And it turns out we we'll be hiring Doc Rivers and will and William Goodrich as our assistant coach. Sorry, Fitzgerald, it's just it, it's not happening. So to the NBA draft, we have the tenth pick here. Like I said, I don't want to make any crazy moves, but we have the tenth and the fifteenth pick, and nobody on our team. That's freaking awesome. Actually, the the fourth pick, that that's pretty realistic. Come on, and then we give y'all some of the. All right, we trade three picks to to move up. Was that realistic? I'm not really sure. I still think that we gave up a lot, but at least now we have the fourth pick in the NBA draft. We're gonna go ahead and enter into the draft and see if we can get that boy Luca. And at pick number four, let's see, he went number one. GG. All right. He went number one. Who's there? Who and who can play shooting guard? Who can play shooting guard? Colin Sexton. Mm, nah. Nah. We. I really like Diallo, but like, now if he's a 72 overall, what's his potential? 
It's a B plus. It's not even all, all that great. And we need shooters. That's why I really wanted Luca. Let's see if I can still pick up Luca. If the trade offer comes up, I will overpay for him because I know that that's what they would probably do in real life. But dang. All right, so we finally got a trade for Luca. All right, let's. I feel like with this pick, we would obviously o overpay for it now. Uh, let's trade all of these. How about this? All right, so we pull in Lucas still. Uh, now it's starting to get kind kind of wild, but I still feel like we would be able to possibly get him in real life if we made that trade. All right, so we signed another young player to the son to the squad in Luca Donich, and we're gonna be bringing all these guys back. Now this is the year that I, I think that we are buying. I think that we're definitely buying this year. Uh, we're gonna bring back Ro Robert Covington because he is important to the squad. Shelvin Mack wants to test, and he can go ahead and do that. But let's just bring it in. Let's just bring in our guys first. That's what's important, especially Covington. I like him. All right, who's out there? Uh, who would want to come here in real life though? Mello. Mello wants a lot of money. He he's tripping. I'm not giving Mello all that guap though. We miss out on Lou Williams. This really really sucks. And on day two, all right, on day two where we we're able to get Tim Hardaway and Dirk Nowitzki. All right, I actually don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Melo, Melo's still not rocking with us, though. We still got a lot of cap room. That's the only thing, like. And for season number two, this is our lineup. Markel Fultz, Luca, Ben Simmons, Dario. It's, it's the same lineup as last year, but we did add in a few more pieces. Our bench is a whole lot better. Now, now that we got Dirk and we got Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, I still think that, I mean, you know what? You know what? Let's just trust in the process and let's let the team develop. Let's just do that. Let's hope that they continue to develop. We got a whole bunch more shooters. Uh, this man signed up to just be a bench player, but I mean, we're still good. We're still rebuilding. We're going to just take this thing slowly, and let's just see how much we improve. Last season, we won 41 games. This season, let's hope to win about 45 to 50. Let's just see. And at the end of season number two, Russell, bro, how many MVPs do you got, bro? Three P. <laughs> Rookie of the year goes to Michael Porter Jr. Doing his thing on the Chicago Bulls, I guess. Do we get any awards at all? I mean, we definitely improve though. Markel Fultz is All NBA second team. This man is this man is two time All Star, even as a rookie. Two time All Star. Anybody else? He, he's also All Defensive first team. I'm surprised that Embiid isn't doing this. But Luka did make all rookie first, which is awesome for us. This year, this young team was killing it. We won 50 games from 41 to 50, nine more games. And now we are the now we are the second seed, five games behind the Wizards. And it still says that we are rebuilding. But Fultz, 19 points a game, five and a half rebounds, and almost eight assists. With four steals a game. Embiid with 17, about eight and a half. And he's just doing what he does. And you already know that Ben Simmons is doing it everywhere. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's see if we can make it past the first round this year versus the Pacers in the first round. Come on, y'all. Oh, my. Don't blow this. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, bruh. This team is messing with us? You know what? Third, third season on deck. Next year, whoever we play in the first round, GG, the Pacers win the championship. I'm done. I'm done. And for season number three, this is the lineup. Markel Fultz is at 87 overall now. Luka is still there. Ben Simmons is 86. Okay, now we're starting to show our team in their prime. Now we are. All right, I think that this team is good. Like, we are extremely, extremely good. Hold up. I want to give him some minutes as well. But hold on, uh, does this just say that we're rebuilding? Now it says that we are contending. If we lose in the first round for three years straight, I don't, I don't even know. Like at that point, I don't even know what, what to do. I do want to test out Jaleel's value. Let's see what's out there for him. Uh, I know that they have been trying to, to sign him real life. This is his, this is his contract year. I don't want to pay him. So really, no one's rocking with. Oh, uh, really? No trade clause. Seriously. It's whatever. Let's just go ahead and let's see what, what this team can do at the end. So far, we've kept it kind of realistic. Kind of. Kind of. The Luka thing was kind of extra. 
But for the most part, we are building with this team's young core, and they are excelling. So maybe they should pick up Markel Fultz. And yo, Rust just he just don't he just don't stop winning. Four P as the MVP. Uh, not that's not realistic <laughs> at all. But that's besides the point. Any awards for us, bro? We can we we continue to can why is he co coach the Warriors? Whatever. We keep winning games. Where's where's Markel Fultz at, Bruh. This year he doesn't make any All NBA team. What's what's going on? He 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 is All Defensive First Team. What's going on, man? His numbers all went up though. What's up? That's really weird. But I mean, in the end, it's it's weird. I think. Wait, did that? Did our rookie make and make an All Rookie Team? I think he did. I think he was. Yeah, he was All Rookie sec, Second Team. Good for him. We're in year 2020. All right, we need we need to win a championship. It's that plain and simple. Uh, we we basically were the first seed. We tied with Boston. I guess they are up there now. They got Marvin Bagley. Shouts out to the Nets for giving them all those picks. You guys already know Fultz let us in and basically everything that he put his mind to. Ben Simmons, 14, 10 and a half, and six assists. And B with 15 and 8. Bruh, that's crazy. And you guys already know everybody else pretty much did their part. Alright, let's see if we can win a championship now. That's the big thing. Can we make it past round one and win that ring? We got three players that are all stars, bruh. All right, we, we finally make it past round one. Up against the Pistons, don't ho. Oh. Wow, they really tr try to play us. And we went to seven. All right, look at this lineup, you guys. Come on, don't, please don't choke this away. Don't choke it away. The bench, come on, don't choke this thing away. We don't, we don't need, we don't even need a choke. All right, playoff stats for the squad. Kale is still killing. That man is on fire. All right, up against Boston. We take game one, they take game two. They take game three, bro. Oh my, 3-1 lead. Blow a 3-1 lead, please. All right, cool. We kill them in that game. All right, 3-2. We're playing at home. You, you, you can't lose at home. We can't lose at home, come on. We cannot lose at home. All right, bet. And we forced the game seven. What happened in, in the last game? All right. They could possibly be blowing a 3-1 lead and then we're taking on Golden State. Come on, y'all. Clutch this thing out. Clutch this thing out. Clutch it out. Please don't lose. And, yo, Boston blows a 3-1 lead. Make sure to comment it down in the comment section below. Boston blows a 3-1 lead in 2020. Because 2K predicts the future. Or not. Anyways, we're taking on Golden State. Let's see if their core is still intact. And it is. It definitely is KD, Steph, Clay. Now they're all in their 30s, though. But hold on. LeBron is still a 97 at 30. Okay, whatever. But anyways, let's see if we can take down Golden State. They take game one. We take game two. We take game three. We take game four. Don't blow it. Bro, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Bro, chill out. Yo. We, we, we blew a 3-1 lead. <laughs> Yo, Durant. Not cool, buddy. Not cool. We couldn't win a championship the first time we make it to the NBA Finals. It just so happens that it's our final year doing this rebuild. We blow a three-one. We blew a three-one lead, fam. After we are, we are legit the Warriors. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. Leave me some suggestions in the comment section below and let me know. Do you guys think that mark that? Well, first off, do you guys think that the Celtics are gonna make that trade and acquire the, the number one overall pick? Because according to a bunch of to a bunch of sources, and you guys already know, Woj is never wrong. I am hearing it's gonna happen, and I think if it does, they are taking full. And let me know, is he gonna be a bust or he's gonna be great? I think he's gonna be really, really good. Let me know in, in the comment section below. But make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. This was this was our team. Joel Embiid, Markel Fultz, Ben Simmons, Luka, Dario Saric, Tim Hardaway Jr., Robert Covington, Jaleel. Now, I easily could have built a super team, but I did keep it somewhat realistic. Let me know if I did a good job, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Talking about a check. Oh. Fought your girl some Nike when she had me about a check.
Oh.